Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday! Today's video looks slightly different than you might be used to. And that's because you're seeing my face. Well, I thought it might be nice to show you who's actually attached to these hands in my Draw Tip Tuesday videos. So hello! Nice to meet you! I am Ko Shukuna. I blog, I teach and I'm a drawing fanatic as you already may have noticed. In today's episode of Draw Tip Tuesday, I will let you take a peek into my purse. I know, real ladies don't do that kind of stuff. But you know what? I don't care. I will show you what I take with me when I go drawing outside, in just a little bit. But first, I want to thank you for watching my videos. For more good stuff, go to my website koshukuna.nl I know, it's horrible to pronounce for anyone who isn't Dutch, but hey, it's my name! So, if you just copy the link, then you will find me, okay? Okay, I will now show you what's in my purse. Enjoy today's video! This small bag, which I bought on holiday in Malaysia, contains my drawing kit. Let's start with my vintage Winsor & Newton watercolor set, which is filled actually with paint from the Van Gogh brand. My waterbrush pens. Quite a few felt pens in different sizes and colors. I carry graphite pencils differing in hardness, but I prefer HB most of the time. More felt pens. A brush pen filled with black waterproof ink. And since recently, this Sharpie is added to my bag, thanks to my friend Sandy who sent it all the way from Canada. Then a very ordinary but also reliable ballpoint pen and a waterproof rollable pen. An eraser. And yeah, you never know what you need to stick into your sketchbook, so I always bring some glue. Very important, a pencil sharpener. This one is super handy because it has a container, so I don't make a mess when I sharpen my pencils. Sometimes I also carry a pair of scissors, just in case, but of course not when I'm traveling by airplane. Hmm, nothing to see here anymore. These water brush pens are great when you head out. They are brushes filled with water, so all I need to do is squeeze them a little bit to feed the brush with water. No messing around with water containers to dip brushes in. The pens here on the left are all waterproof. The ones on the right are not. These Uni Pin Fineliners come in many different sizes. I mix and match sizes, I'm not too picky. They are waterproof. Pretty handy to combine with watercolors. This calligraphy pen has a flattened tip, which you can use for pretty hand lettering. It's really handy that it's also waterproof, so you can combine it with colors. Micron pens are great black waterproof fine liners as well, just like the Uni pens. The brush pen is a beautiful tool. I don't use it often, but when I saw my drawing buddy Yvonne using it, I wanted one too. It's like a fountain pen filled with an ink pattern, only it has a soft brush. The Sharpie is quite a big guy for the work I create, but it's great for thick black lines and coloring in black. The ballpoint pen is an all-time favorite for me. Sometimes I carry different colors as well. Lately, I've been using this Uniball Rollerball pen more than the Fineliner felt pens. Its inkiness is great. The lines seem to flow when I draw with it. Pentel makes wonderful markers. This Fineliner has a softer tip and it feels really nice to draw with it. This tip is even softer and it's grey, it's really beautiful. It feels a bit like a tiny stubby brush. And this is a simple red marker to add some colour. 
As I said before, I usually carry a few different ranges of graphite pencils. At least one HP pencil and then a softer kind, like 2B. Now I will be packing up. But before I forget, when I use watercolors I don't bring a cloth or tissue paper, but I use a wristband. I picked this up from Urban Sketcher Liz Steel, and since I discovered how handy this is, I'm using it ever since. I can even carry my watercolor set like this without needing to take my whole bag with me. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to see you again. See you next week!